first things first, and this is, you could probably tell, straight out of a Streets of Rage aesthetic that came out, God knows, 30 years ago or something. We have Streets of Chaos, a brand new retro side-scroller beat-em-up fighting game made with the pixel art will simulate the 16-bit consoles, and as stated by developers, highly based on Streets of Rage, Double Dragon, Final Fight, and some more. Uh, the story even here is somewhat pretty similar to Streets of Rage as well. Now, what we do know is that the game is releasing by the end of 2022 and for PCs only. Check it out. Coming up behind that, we've got Bravery and Greed, which is a beat-em-up roguelite dungeon brawler, and this one's also playable for up to four players at once. Online, of course, co-op, split-screen, story mode, survival, it's all there, you name it. Now, Bravery and Greed, we know, is releasing for PCs, Switch, Xbox, and the PlayStation consoles too, with both generation, and by the end of this summer. Technically, this is how the game really looks. Okay, where should I start? There is an annual tournament at this school. The Raise Your Gang Tournament. Moving on at number 3, we have, and also available through a demo on Steam since yesterday, something called Troublemaker, an action-adventure beat-em-up game about probably one of the most terrifying parts of anybody's life high school, where you literally get to fight your way up to the top of the food chain through whatever this is. Anyway, the game is pretty much inspired by beat-em-up classics, it is coming to the PCs only and due for release sometime next year. School life, slice of life, comedy, romantic, that's my favorite. If you don't want to fight with us, why don't you just get out of this school? What the fuck, man? That's what I wanted from the beginning, asshole. I'm the king of the school. I'm the council president of the school. So why don't you just shut up and follow my rules? You know the saying, get knocked down, get up again, that whole spiel. Well, it's time, partner. Around the same time, two months ago, however, technically at the Summer Game Festival, see, we were finally told that Midnight Fight Express will personally the one game in today's list that I've, I've been waiting to have hands on patiently for months, will now finally release August 23 this year and for technically every single console too. To accompany the good news, the folks went on and released a new trailer. Just in case you couldn't really wait for it to come out, there is a demo available for this game on the Nintendo Wii Shop and Steam as well. Who put it there? No, not him. Me. Well, I ain't wearing it anymore, and neither are you. Tonight, we wash this whole damn city down. At number five, I'm assuming you've already heard about this one, but you've been waiting for River City Girls 2 is now headed to the Nintendo Switch, PCs, and basically every other console as well, and releasing in about two months from now. We hear. See, way forward, developers went on and announced this in addition to a new trailer and the premise of an all new adventure with everything people loved from the first game and now reimagined. Check it out just in case you missed it. Streets and even more over the top humor. Take control of one of six characters, including 
returning powerhouses Kiyoko and Misako. Each character has their own fighting style and upgradable movesets, which you'll need as you set off on a new quest, picking up where the first game left off. And when we say new, we mean it. New moves, enemies, areas, items, and a new soundtrack by the first game's composer, Megan McDuffie. Not to mention branching paths, as well as a return of a familiar foe. Get the fists flying solo, or team up with a friend, locally or online. What do you say, Paul? Ready to give some goons the old one-two? Perfection is a process. Coming up behind that, we have Underling Uprising, which is another action-packed beat-em-up with this Saturday morning cartoony aesthetic, in which you get to play as these underlings, that's a group of experiment things created by this mad scientist, and the story goes as you seek revenge for this whole madness. Well, here's the trailer, gameplay, it's supposed to be released early next year and for PCs through Steam only. And number seven, and by publishers Nacon once again, we have Clash Artifacts of Chaos from its previously planned November 2022 release and now delayed to February 9 this year. Now, a Clash, for those of you new, is basically a third-person fighting adventure and, as you can see, set in a punk fantasy universe. This game is due for release across PlayStation, Xbox consoles and PCs as well, like I mentioned earlier, February 9 next year. Number eight, and this is in my opinion just literally Splatterhouse from the old Sega Genesis era. Instead, now you play as some sort of Jason Voorhees character, something called House of Pain. Just a brutal hack and slash platformer where you get to battle through hordes of these twisted mutant enemies and explore around with all sorts of chainsaws, ma machetes, and axes, with, and even a flamethrower to figure out this story. I'm not gonna lie, I actually love this one. The game said to be released December 23 this year and for PCs only. Coming up behind that, we have the legend of Tian Ding. Now, this is actually a side-scrolling action game and an exploration-based one that's already available on PCs and Switch since earlier this year. The game is now coming over to the PlayStation and Xbox consoles in about a month we hear, and with all of its previously released downloadable content as well, for free. Check it out. Tipo Nato 
亲自接到镜头，落当假做武器，身边你的卡片，就在对手的武器都反击登去。哎呀，空手有人对手强，爱随时使用身边快捷的武器。At number ten, we have River City Girls、uh, once again, and now Zero, aka Shin Niketsu Koha. Well, the old classic 16 bits beat 'em up that actually did set the stage for River City Girls and River City Girls 2, and now planned for release on Switch and PCs. Other consoles as well later this year and possibly around November. Honestly, not really much to talk about with this one except this is how it really looks and a new trailer for the game was also released. Yeah. Moving on, we've got something here called Jay and Silent Bob. Chronic blunt punch. Well, this is yet another side-scrolling tag team beat 'em up brawler where the player gets to swap back and forth between heroes to perform special moves while simultaneously with a friend. Now, a chronic blunt punch here is said to be released for PCs, Xbox One, and the PlayStation for only late 2022. And after about six months of development by Interband Entertainment, who previously came up with another JM Silent game, we'll check it out. At number twelve, actually, with over two hundred stages through a campaign, we have here with us Black Witchcraft. Well, first off, it's been quite a while, but this is, as you can see, a gothic action RPG in a high-resolution kind of hand-drawn 2D aesthetic, in which you have to fight against demons of ancient mythological stories, and pretty much inspired by Castlevanias, if you couldn't tell already, and also well, the Bloodstained games as well. Check it out; the game is coming over to the Nintendo. Switch PCs and other consoles as well early to mid next year. We hear. At number thirteen, and for those of you who did miss out on the news earlier by Micraids, we have a brand new adventure action brawler in the old Asterix and Obelix series. Now, Triple XL, the Ram from Hibernia. See, the game is releasing this fall, probably around October, and across every single console too. The new game, in addition to the single player, we know will now even include a co-op multiplayer as well. Check it out. At number fifth, I mean fourteen, and actually available now on Steam through a free demo, and technically the only platform it's ever going to be released. PCs. Well, another classic to the arcade action game, animated frame by frame, obviously, going by the name Pulling No Punches, where your job is to just survive this fictional pandemic in a city filled with madness and whatever. The game is pretty hardcore. It's definitely messed up. Strongly recommend this for adult players, and all we know is. That is releasing in about only a week from now. This day started like any other. You'll be judged for your sins. No. True nightmare. Have you 
Moving on, we have Brock the Investigator once again from last year. A narrative driven beat em up and a puzzle game in portions in case you did miss out on. And even a role playing game with multiple endings and around 20 hours of gameplay. That's pretty much what I've gathered about this one. Other than that, all we know is that the game is set to be released for PCs and Linux in the Switch only and due out in about a month or two from now. Check it out. <laughs> Uh, you're a... Our creator left us after making us. We dedicate our lives so that humanity can progress. At 438, the record ending. Who are you? Good idea. But at the end of the road... You've saved me. You're my hero. And last but not least, well, once again it's the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and not Shredder's Revenge, which has been available for a few months now, but a retro compendium going by the name the Kawabunga Collection, which is technically TMNT tournaments, fighters that launched on the Sega Genesis back 30 years ago and now with the rollback netcode support and a bunch of other new features as well. Check it out, just in case you missed it. Peace. 